สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีเจ้า Hello and welcome to another episode of Thai Girl Talk with Mia and Lonnie. So Mia, I know you have something on your mind. Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to talk about today? Yes, Lani, I have something in mind. I think this is really, really important to talk about. It's okay. about our safety as a woman, and especially a foreign woman like you are half foreign. It's about Krabi, mm-hmm. right? Um, sure, every everybody talked about this for the past few days. Yeah. Um, but we have to tell a little bit of. The story to our listener, right? In case they don't know what was happened, the big bloggers of Thailand have posted about this, and of course, this came from the Bangkok Post about the 19-year-old Dutch woman from Krabi. She's a model, right? Oh, really? I didn't know yes, that. Yes, yes. Um, that was uh, that was raped in July, and it's interesting how it's all kind of unraveling and coming out now. I guess because the person who was accused of rape was released, right? And then the it became big. On YouTube, because the father of the girl, yeah, he thought that this is you know unfair justice that the guy was bailed out so easily. So he create um, a YouTube video, right, which is banned here. I heard. I think they try to ban it, but it right. just get out to the media, and they they couldn't do anything right now. We will put the video here on the post. But just a quick, you know, idea of what's what's happening on the video is well, of course, the father was really upset and angry for what happened to his daughter, right? Yeah. Everybody right. would feel the same way. Did you see the video? No, I just saw uh, snapshots of it. But I heard that he had or made a song about what happened to his daughter. Right. He said that. Okay. Basically. Yeah. And it just. I think he wrote the song himself and composed everything himself. So the song's called "Evil Man from Krabi." Yeah. Um, in the video, it was black and white, and him carrying a gun and really upset. You have to listen to the the music because it's really, really um strong message that he tried to send out. Of course, we understand that he's upset. But what happened is after this being a viral on YouTube. A lot of people saw the video, and of course, the Thai government. So yes, after they tried to cover up what was happened in Krabi, this is not the case anymore. Right. And I saw on the Thai news, and the next day, they're talking about how the language was used in the video was so violent, so oh. so cruel. Um, they the Thai news has an idea of. It's not all the Krabi people are evil. They think this sent an, a wrong image to the outside world, and that was the response. They didn't talk about how upset the father would be, how easily the guy would bail out, but they just criticized the video that it's really bad language used. Mm-hmm. They they say that oh we couldn't even play this on the news right now. So anyway, so I followed the news. Yeah, I keep following it up, and then I heard that the Thai government are trying to ban this video. I think they yes. just got more publicity and attention, and probably more. I think whenever you try to ban something, it's going to gain a lot of attention. Right. <laughs> and I know that social media has definitely helped um, this woman and her father's case in in bringing attention to what happened. Right. So I think it just. I think a lot of people picked up on that, and it went. I think them mis- misunderstanding or them trying to do them being the Thai uh, government or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they just made it a lot worse because there's quotes from the post about it's not really considered rape because she had dinner with him. Yeah, that's um, I know. I understand. I totally understand how the father would feel, and I would feel the same way if it's happened to someone that I know. To talk about this as a Thai, mm-hmm. it reflects a really bad image on um, Krabi. What happened was on the Thai news report that is, it has been a lot of cancellation right. on the hotel, and it's really affected business badly. And I understand that. I totally understand. So the Thai police came out. Have you seen it? The Thai police make the YouTube video. Oh, did they? Yeah, as the response to the the fathers of the girl. What they say? So in Thai, 
He tried to explain that they have did their best. Everything was followed the the law step by step. They mentioned that the court was the one who released him. It's not the police. They try to explain that Western law and Thai law are, are different. They try right. to explain how the steps in Thailand has to be done, and they they simply say they did the best they could. Well, it has been three video response from the police department. And, oh, uh-huh. yeah, and one of one of them is just one guy, one policeman talking, and he keeps saying repeatedly saying that if everything come in, we try to help right away. They he right. keep he keep repeatedly say this sentence, which I'm sure a lot of people criticize that. Oh, do you are tourists? People, police don't care about your case. So basically, all this response YouTube from the Thai police. It's put a really, really hot spot on. Yeah, it's turned really, really badly because you know they try to excuse themselves, and so basically, like you said, they say um, they went out together. Right. They have dinner together. They have drink. They went home two or three in the morning. Um, they don't say that. Oh, this is not a rape. They say. Um, a guy would not just um, randomly grab the girl and raped her. But the reason I really want to talk about this, Lani, um, is about the safety of the woman, um, either Thai or foreigners. It's a different viewpoint. You know, a woman in the states can wear provocative clothing, mm-hmm. and and or clothing that is considered low cut. Right. Revealing, and it's not um, it's not sending a message to anybody um, that says you know I'm easy you right, know right or or whatever. But I know that even if you wear a tank top, for a woman to wear a tank top, a man will see it very differently. Or for a woman to wear short shorts or a short skirt, mm-hmm. it it feels like men kind of perceive that. And I don't know if it's all Thai men because there's a lot of immigrant workers here too. But some are Thai, and they they perceive this Western woman as you know being easy, mm-hmm. or or whatever. It has a um, lot to do with the way um, the way the woman dress. I'm not saying this to Western women only, okay? Or even for Thai women, if a Thai woman dress a little sexy, right, showing a lot of cleavage or legs and thing, it is she seems easy in Thai people eyes. But yeah, it's difficult to even say this because I don't feel like I don't want to say that you have to dress a certain way. You know what I mean? Right. Or if you dress a certain way, you're asking for it. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's right. I definitely want women, all women, to feel beautiful in in their skin and dress however they want to. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, in Thailand, when you dress a certain way, showing cleavage or legs or even your belly button, mm-hmm. a lot of skin. You will be looked at a different way, right? And not in a good light at all. I mean, I have expat friends who have been grabbed really? on their bicycles for crying out loud. Oh my um, gosh! And you know they fought back, and luckily nothing's happened to them. Um, but yeah, I do hear about this, and this is in a country that I consider to be pretty safe. Um, in Thai culture, though, Lani, in a Thai, let's say the Thai dating culture, I'm talking about only a good and decent tiger. Um, in the beginning, the the girl will not go with the guy alone on a date. Right. She yeah. she will go with her friend mm-hmm. to go th- with the guy alone. The guy get an idea like, oh, she likes me. Yeah, right? yeah. It's this is a I think the situation in Krabi is a big fat cultural mess. <laughs> it yeah. really is. I mean, it, it it even if she went on a date with wearing a bikini. Right. You know what I mean? She doesn't deserve to be beaten, and she certainly doesn't deserve to be raped. Absolutely. But it's perceived very differently for the men. Yeah, it's a big cultural difference here, and I want our listener to to understand that we are we are not trying to criticize in both parties. Okay, I just want to to tell you that it's cultural difference, and for the safety of the women. I mean, doesn't matter Thai or Westerner woman. You know, you have to be a little more careful on that. 
and it's unfortunately for what happened but we have to see how it goes about this case because this is not the first case Lani yeah um, it has been a lot of reports on rape case um, in the south of Thailand um, there's a case of a one honeymoon couple okay. they were like romantically on the beach late at night I'm not sure what time seven Thai people four men three girls are trying to grab a woman and try to rape her oh my god and I could, I'm shocked because there's three girls involved in it yeah oh but not only that though she escaped finally but the guy they stabbed him nearly dead wow that was not far from what happened to this um, Dutch model yeah it's that's what happened and of course uh, hey you have you heard about this case Lani no yeah, see um, neither do I if we don't have this Dutch woman case uh, they will not know about this case at all so why not that's a good question I'm not saying it's the right thing to do to cover up the crimes okay but I think they probably don't want to draw attention into a bad tourism in Thailand. It's a selfish act. You should not do that at all. But maybe that's what they think. No, oh, it makes sense. In a culture that values reputation of, you know, saving face, mm -hmm. right? This right. is massive for Thailand to be considered unsafe and for a woman to be raped on the beach. I mean, that's like quite possibly one of the worst publicities they could receive. This has been like a cultural faux pas. It's been a huge mix mash of misunderstandings. Thailand wanting to protect its interest and obviously a very angry father trying to get attention in the best way that he knows how, which is through social media, which is a very powerful tool right now. And I don't see that going away. But I do think this could have been an opportunity for, for Thailand to have shown some compassion, you right. know, as if that Dutch girl was their daughter. You know, right. I think if if it was looked at like that, hey, she is like your daughter too. All the women in the world are like our daughters, our mothers and our sisters. Mm -hmm. And you cannot just turn your back on that. You may not like the way that she acted. You may not like the way she dressed. Right. But she doesn't deserve to be beaten and raped. But you raised the question, is right. Thailand is Thailand safe? Is it safe for women? It's safe for women. I I would strongly say 100% it's safe for women to travel alone. But women just be a little more careful, you know, when you go out um, at night or you go out alone. You want to make sure that you are surrounded with good people you trust. Um, you cannot trust someone you just meet as a tour guide. I would agree. I'd say overall it's a safe country. You just have to be careful of who you of who you trust. Right. And unfortunately, however you want to look at it, be careful of how how you dress and how you act, because um, it it can be misconstrued. Yeah. Well, I, I'd be curious to hear what the listeners think about this situation. People are probably afraid to leave a comment about this particular topic, and I don't blame you. But I I would be curious to hear what people had to say, and we would appreciate your feedback. Well, until next time, hopefully we'll have a, a less serious, <laughs> right. a less serious right. topic. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Pokan Maika. Pokan Maika. Sawadee Kha.